<laughs> right. Morning, morning, morning. Let's make sure everything is all good. It's weird how it doesn't choose the game when you stream from Xbox because obviously I'm. I've picked the game. Just check on here, and then we're all good to go. Let's go low to high. Should be somewhere near the bottom. No. Come on, I am streaming full merger, aren't I? Just am streaming full merger, right? Stream, stream manager, football manager 2021. And then if I go on to. No, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. So, anyway, how are we all doing? I hope we're all good. Uh, back out again. Obviously, a convincing 3 0 victory last time around against. Often FC, so that was uh, yeah, it was all right actually, not too bad at all. Can't can't complain, can't complain. Um, we've obviously got uh, Sporting uh, Kansas City today. That's going to be slightly more tougher, I think, than the game against Austin. Um, let's have a quick look at here what what we're saying actually. Let's get the mouse back up before we start rolling. Board confidence uh, so far, obviously not not the best start to the season, but to see, I'm delighted with the financial of the Simon Francis signing. That's put probably because it's free and a really cheap wage. It's fair, he's not a bad player at all. Uh, if, uh, very pleased with uh, New England's convincing 3-0 performance. Great delight of us, uh, Upset about the 3-0 heavy loss. Well, too fair, so was I. Yeah, I mean, these two matches here, that well, that was... Um, that wasn't the best, was it, to be fair? Not the best at all. Uh, what we got here? OK, we're going to do that at the start. Yeah, N and F, yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty terrible. Um, got an E for that one and an A- in that one, so, yeah. I mean, we're kind of kind of going in the right direction, but this one's going to be um, this one's definitely going to be the the kind of one which I'm unsure about. I mean, I kind of expected it to be Austin, but Sporting, I'm not too sure about. Um, yeah, this is my due to both the transfer fee and the players' wages for the money. Good, good. Uh, uh, the board are content with the dealing of signing of Conor O'Keefe. Uh, pleased to sign Conor with this player. Very disappointed with the signing requirements. Yeah, to be fair, I don't know what else I can do from a, a bigger point of view. I mean, I did have a quick look, obviously, into the loan market. wasn't able to do anything last time round. Um, you know, I was trying to get a few players in on loan, which didn't seem that they were, like, willing to, to come, which is quite weird, because obviously I put it on loan and kind of, you know, what was willing to, to come in, and then obviously put in bids for these kind of, you know, two players up here, two Chelsea players. Um, nothing came to fruition, uh, which was slightly disappointing, but, you know, it's it's weird that, Josh Murphy, that might be one. Is he the ex um, ex Norwich? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, that might be one, but again, I, I think I think we're kind of we're, we're actually all right there. I mean, obviously, if I could get somebody like the two lads at the top in, that would be like ridiculous. But other than that, I mean, I'm not really probably adding anything extra into the. Into the team, of, if I'm being truthfully honest, yeah. But adding this kind of colour of player, uh, excuse me, probably isn't going to add much to the actual overall team. Whereas in having the likes of, you know, Gilmore. I mean, obviously we can we can we can have a delve and see and see what um and see if we're allowed to. Uh, let's make an offer here. I mean, can I still uh, offer a loan? I mean, we'll make offer. Boom, that wouldn't be a bad one at all. 
we'll get a scout report on this guy. I mean, he looks pretty good, doesn't he? I mean, for 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 what we're looking at there. Uh, don't really do him with a goalkeeper. We scout him. I mean, I mean, how old is he? Twenty years age. Oh, to be fair, that wouldn't be bad. He's American as well. So, and then we'll just no, I don't need to look for that one. And then we'll just have a quick scout of him as well. And now we'll carry on. Obviously, going to get into the game against Sporting soon. As say, it's, we need to kind of bounce back from what we were doing last time round. Obviously, a three 0 loss to Columbus Crew, uh, and then obviously on to Atlanta, two 0 loss. But then we did bounce back with that three 0 victory against uh, Austin FC. So it'd be interesting to see kind of what how we go into the awards, um, the game against uh, Sporting Kansas. Um, Eighty four. Yeah, I mean, let's let's have a quick look where he kind of sits in line with everyone else. Then. Um, yeah, I mean top there. I mean it's very better than Carlos as well, which is uh, I mean, I've kind of got an abundance of really good attacking players, but I mean you know it can never be, it's, it never hurt to have too many, I suppose we can say. That's all I would say on that that one. Um, but yeah, that would be uh, interesting if we could bring him in. Eighty four overall, thirty year old, uh, experienced attacking midfielder. Extremely doubtful there, but obviously you know it, it would be a loan move rather than. Anything there? And it, okay, he does look like a decent player. Very well-rounded, to be fair. Um, can play in multiple positions as well. Good versatility, which is always pleasing to have. He is transferred to the other club as well. Um, again, obviously not going to be making that Norwich first team anytime soon, but definitely could do a job for us. But again, not kind of the area I suppose looking at. But it's always good to have that that option there. Got that scout report in now. Now this is uh, one that I was quite eager to see what he kind of compared up against. He's ranking at a three and a half star at the moment. Four, four potentially five star on that potential market as well. Uh, let's have a quick delve into him and see where he kind of sits in our estimations. Where well, I'm looking at reports, isn't it? Yeah, it's a top. Um, I think we definitely need to look to to bite get him in if we can at all. Ten, yeah. I mean, I think I think we should be able to get this one done. To be fair, um, actually, what was his? What was his? No, no, no. I was gonna say I can't, I can't afford to buy any players in. To be fair, so let's make an offer. Let's have a look at loan. Um, okay, let's just bang that one in there. Boom. Uh, Tottenham have negotiated over. They want a hundred percent. I can't offer you a hundred percent. What is the most I can offer? Eighty percent is the most I can offer. I'm afraid. Mm, that's literally all I can offer can't go any higher unfortunately don't have the money and I've literally moved all of my money into wages as well to kind of just try and facilitate some of these loan moves again this one Nicholas Castillo here um, I don't think again he's not offering anything different from what we've already got I mean to fair actually right out as our third best striker as well so no point pursuing that one um, I, I suppose I didn't really delve into the the the, the market of uh, the free agents tool there's, there's not really I haven't really looked there that often since kind of uh, my first initial one so we, we will actually have a quick a quick look in there see if there's anything that we can um, how do you reset all this I can't really do it now is it just new search is it no 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 um, so contract expired uh, take this loan filter off here uh, we will obviously take this one here to see um, and then have a look I mean Suleiman Tari I mean he's not going to want to how old is he now 36 I mean Again, like all these guys here, it's not they're not really got they might offer me their one season, but again, unless they're like top tier, then I don't really think see the point because like the Suleiman Tari here, thirty six years of age. I mean I don't think he's gonna offer me much more than what I've already got. I mean that aggression's very high. Teamwork and tackling obviously very, very key. Attributes and obviously really high uh there with the sixteens. Uh long shots fifteen as well. I mean I'll get a scatter point, but again I don't think I can't. I can't see anything there that's offering me much more than what we've already got. Thirty-two uh, years of age, Martin Emnes. And again, I don't. He's not really offering anything there. Again, I think that's that's a no-go. And um, we'll see what he's saying. And then again, I'm not really seeing anyone apart from this legend here. Obviously, ex New England Revolution player already. Thirty-eight years of age now. Uh, let's have a look. It's been a while since I think he's played. I think he had two since the Revolution, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he did. Uh, back from 2014 to 2007, went to Scotland and then around uh, the England leagues for a little bit and then came back and obviously played for New England for three more seasons before he went on to the Boston Bolts. Um, but obviously we'd not need to bring Dorman back just yet. So I'm Dawkins and uh, Paul Jones. I thought it was Phil Jones for a minute. As you can see, I've, I've scattered a few players here. I mean, Mark Pugh is one I was actually quite interested in at one point. I actually had him on, out on a trial. Um, he didn't perform too bad, to be fair. Um, no, I don't 
I hate it when you do that. Uh, he didn't actually perform. It wasn't terrible at all, um, if I'm being brutally honest. But uh, it was um, just one of those things that oh, it doesn't even come on. This thing that he's out on trial with us. Um, oh, okay. Didn't know they'd uh, change the name. Uh, but yeah, he, I mean, he was all right. But again, 51. Doesn't really compete with kind of the options we've got there. If I'm being brutally honest. Yeah, I mean, look, he's like ninth on the list. So, I mean, there's definitely better options out there. Um, what else? Have we got anything else that I can see in here? No, no, nothing that's kind of screwing out to me here, really, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, what I will just quickly just do is I'll pop this in. Go to International. Where is it? Go to Caps. And that's always a good way of an indication, generally, if a player is decent, if they've got, got some caps for their country. Not always, because uh, obviously you can get some of these lower national leagues, which you can give caps, but obviously, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's only 33 years of age. Is it worth an opportunity? I've pressed the wrong button, haven't I? I've only gone and pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I mean, is it? It's worth a punt, isn't it? Uh, by the way, I mean, uh, he's he's got to be he's got to be pushing on a bit now as well, hasn't he? Let's go back to overview. Um, yeah, 37, 33 there. I mean, but again, he plays low American League already, um, and obviously he's. Nationality is not exactly the one that unfortunately is screaming talent. <sighs> Wilfred Bode is only uh, 32 years of age as well. Um, but again, it's like, is that the area that we're um, mostly looking for investment in? I don't think it is, if I'm being brutally honest here. Kai Kamara as well, 36. Kai is 36, that is. Would not have guessed that at all. Yeah, but you see, when you've got these players of. Yeah, I wouldn't say you know, but it's 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 hard. To, I mean, you know, it's not it's hard to get into the Danish national team, um. But yet, you know, if you're going into the you know these kind of guys here, it's it yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit easier. I've got a smaller uh, pool to kind of choose from. Twenty eight years of age, he's still on a free. Musa is uh, he used to play for Everton, was it? West Ham, maybe. Leicester, Leicester, that's it completely miles away absolutely mark Diego Costa I mean how is he still on a free how is Diego Costa still not been picked up by a single team I don't I don't get that one I mean look at that I mean obviously yeah spent time in Portugal went to Atletico Madrid went to Braga on loan Atletico Madrid for quite a while then obviously got bought by Chelsea 30 million pounds bought back to Atletico Madrid for 48 million pounds yeah, I mean, how don't get how he's no one's and again the Daniel Sturridge as well are obviously off the field antics, but on the field, I don't get why no one's even stepping in a bit for him. That's uh, Sammy Nasri again. All these players are, are, are players that you'd like to have, but I mean, there's no way in a million years Sammy Nasri is going to come to me, is he? Oh, yeah, oh fine, I'm going to have a trial. I can't do anything on that trial, but um. Yeah, I mean, Sammy and Nasri isn't coming to me, is he? See, I don't get that. See, he'd come to me on a trial, but then when, when he's here, he's not going to be able to do anything, so he'll have to go down to the Revolution 2 team, I believe. Um, but, like... Football on days like this put a smile on your face. Should be a good one. I mean, obviously, I'd love to have Sami Nasri stay, but I mean, he's not. He's literally never going to start a team, is he? Um, if I go to approach to sign, okay, so I can sign Sami Nasri. I can actually sign Sami Nasri. Hmm. 
I kind of, I kind of, I know this is gonna really piss him off, but I don't really want to sign him just at the moment. I really don't want to sign him at the moment, so I'm trying to suggest that. And when he says, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna do it to the point where he gets that pissed off, he kind of walks out. Oh no, don't do this. Um, because I really don't want to sign him at the moment, and. Okay. Um, I honestly didn't think it'd get to the point where I'd be able to sign him, so that was yeah. Okay, let's get into this game anyway, because that's the thing that's kind of threw me off because I really didn't think him. He, uh, he'd kind of um, he'd even speak to me if I'm being perfectly honest. And I don't know if he's in the squad or if he's in the best squad in terms of free kick tackers. Or isn't the best group of goalkeepers that are rushing out? Okay. Well, if I taste this the last eight where he come from that sort of penalty fifteen million goals conceding uh, four in previous match attempts is the new revolution have used three different formations. I have that in that is definitely correct. New revolution, passing is above, shots are above, tackling is above, uh, but all this kind of stuff conceding, yeah, on my miles, miles below. Not the best, if I'm um, you know, got to, got to be brutally honest here. Not the best at all, is it? Um, yeah, no, I'm miles, I'm miles off. Justin Renix, Simon Francis, he's my oldest player. Oh God, I didn't realise he was actually that old. Not the oldest in the league though. My youngest player is Justin. Rennick. Oh yeah, I suppose in my first team. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Andrew Farrell is not 14 stone. How rude. Right, here we go. New England Revolution taking on uh, Sporting Kansas. Um, I want to see how we get on with this one. Hopefully, it'll be a better, uh, better performance, kind of matching the performance we was doing against um, Austin. But we shall see. Matty Parsons is from Cincinnati. Happy to oh my god. I mean, that's it, Polster's going. That Polster is going. I mean, I didn't really want to sell, sell him, but... There it is. You just heard that achievement. Uh, there it is. Hmm. I don't think that was my best move at all, but... Especially now Brandon Bai is bloody injured as well. Um, I'll stick John Bell on the bench, and here can come Dewan Jones, Teal Bunbury, Teal can come back in. Um, Brighton, Capcom, Casido, Bro, Butska. We'll start actually with Mathlan. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll swap over uh, Renix, Buchanan, McNamara. Yeah, I don't need Bunbury as well, do we? We'll stick. There we go. Okay, no, we'll stick. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll leave Justin on there. We'll leave Justin. We'll leave Justin. Right, here it is. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but... Oh, I'm very attacking as well. Yeah, probably need to... Probably not, need to not be on very attacking going into this game. It's not the best, is it? Oh, dearie me. I apologise, but also not. Uh, Katkun starts good, even though I'm struggling to pick a hole in this team, looking forward to it, football and days like this puts one in the face. Should be a good one, should be a good one indeed. Oh, Johnny Russell, man, he's always a bloody pain in the backside, if I'm being perfectly honest. But yeah, lineup. I'm pretty happy, to be fair. Um, should, should, should have put in a good performance this time. I'm trying to take us down from very attacking. 
Um, just to attack in. I, mean, I think we should still definitely be on the, the front foot, but I just don't think we should be on very attacking. I think that leaves us far too open against a team of um, sporting quality. But Carlos Gill here starting on an early Maisie run into Captain. Captain. Oh, does well there. I'm not quite sure what happens. But on the edge of the area, and it's a nice, easy save for the goalkeeper. But a positive start from the Revolution there. 34 seconds in on the clock. And uh, managed to actually uh, put first shot goal. But down the other end, straight away, Matt Turner now forcing save. Maffler clearing the ball. A very eventful first minute of the game there. That was uh, highly unexpected because normally that highlight is a throwaway highlight. But um, two attacks already. Both teams mean in business here early on. Hopefully we can kind of, both teams just settle down now and get into a little flow and just look like we've got a throw in deep in our own corner. Because I have a bow very deep there and already picked up a yellow card nine minutes into the game. That's not the best. In fact, why is he so deep? And also, why has he got a yellow card for Colos here now into uh, Adam Butzka? Just pings a lovely ball out to the left, but he's actually been picked up by Johnny Russell here on the right now, Boateng tracking back putting a tackle in and Revolution get the ball back Casado back to Kessler it's a nice patient build up play here from the Revolution not in any eager but Breton does lead the ball out once more now it seems that they're working their way down the right hand side ball into the box oh that's all too easy just peels away from the defender there Matt Turner beaten at his near post which is never ideal but that was all too easy for the uh, Sporting Kansas there Look here, just uh, ball out to the right. Just has all the time in the world. The player just here splits the defenders. And uh, Matt Turner beating at his near post. That's not the best of starts, is it? It's, as a, after quite a feisty start, so in, uh, started both being on a yellow card in the eighth minute, and two shots in the first kind of few, well, in the first minute, really. Um, we do go 1 0 down. Now, they are the team that do look like they're causing more opportunities and creating more chances here, which isn't good. They've now got another opportunity down the left-hand side this time. Uh, Lewis Martinez plays the ball in Russell, but it has been dealt with. But back again, too much space out on this right-hand side for them. Plays a the ball back into the middle, to the edge of the area. First time hit, but it's dealt with. Now it's got to be offside. That's got to be offside. That cannot be a goal. No, it should be offside. It is offside, surely. No. I was going to say they can't, they can't please VAR yeah I was going to say he was miles offside miles I mean look at this here yeah miles not, not even close not even close but still very early signs here that we're um, there's something not quite working um, I'm going to just quickly just put this off attacking because I seem to be Probably maybe just pushing a little bit too much. Uh, I'm going to demand more from the team as well because I'm not too sure what we're uh, what we're doing here as they've got another opportunity to play the ball into the box once more. Oh my god, just so much time and space they've got on the ball every single time. Um, which is bloody annoying. Adam Butzka now with the ball. Plays a lovely ball out to Collis here. He's got loads of time on the ball here. Can he pick the right shot? He does. What a breakaway goal. A great counter-attacking football there from the New England Revolution. Adam Bootsker just finding Carlos Hill out on that right hand side. Just Carlos Hill, just let's have a look for the replay. Just how much time he has, the the defender just not tracking back at all. And you don't give a player of this calibre that much time and space just to pick the spot out. And uh, the goalkeeper, really, nothing he could do much there. Uh, I mean, maybe he could have come out a little bit earlier, but then obviously at the same time, we've then got the opportunity of Carlos. Uh, lobbing it over the top of him so yeah it was a tough call for him but uh, back on track Gustavo Bow now with a free kick can we get another one here has actually been dealt with but Gustavo's got another opportunity to possibly put the ball back in the box still making me feel a bit uneasy that he's got a yellow card this early on in the game I think we've managed to force a corner there we have indeed I do keep noticing that maybe one person keeps coming to view this stream and then leaving I don't know if it's the same person dealt with by the defenders well done there for the Sporting Kansas Maffa now two yellow cards we're not even at half time boys what is going on why are you being so aggressive for uh, Boateng into Bo back, back out to the left hand side now Boateng oh my word I don't quite understand what's happened there uh, the goalkeeper's had an absolute nightmare I mean Boateng just literally ran in a straight line and kicked the ball in that very direct line almost toe punted it some might say and um, yeah look here Gustavo Bo back to Boateng Boateng just running in a straight line and 
just a toe punt and the goalkeeper just kneels down and, and the goal's gone in obviously I'm not going to complain too much we are 2-1 ahead in a game we probably don't deserve to be 2-1 ahead that's, that's, another, that's a, a yellow card there for a that's two yellow cards on the Sporting Kansas team here as well I think it's going to be a, a game where it possibly could be a red card hopefully not to one of my players and Kessler just give that a big old boot up front I'm going to have to obviously look at the uh, yellow card situation because we've got a left back on the yellow card which is never ideal especially as they're attacking a lot down their right hand side as it does look like they're going to work their way back out to the right again they do Russell now on the ball please do not get a red card stay on your feet please ball over the top there lovely pass there back oh just hits the defender Turner with a great save to keep us in it there we have got a corner to defend though has been dealt with by Casado. He's going to keep the ball in. He does keep the ball in here. They've got another opportunity to put the ball in here. The, the defenders are retreating now. Though, and the hold on, it has ended there. But yeah, some bit of pressure here towards the back end of this uh, this first side as Russell picks up the ball. He plays it into the box. Has been dealt with by Casado again once more. Casado probably the smallest player on the pitch. Uh, but that's twice now I've seen him win a header. Captain now breaking free the defender, not putting him under any pressure. Let him run, Carlos. Come on, this got to be three. Oh my god. I mean, you'd normally, Carlos Hill in that kind of position, you'd normally kind of bet your uh, your life savings on him, but the goalkeeper just stand tall there and doesn't dive or make any moves too fast, and Carlos' options narrowed down there. He's been won again. Look at that magician, man. Gustavo Bow through to Carlos, making the keeper work again. Very pleasing to see the revolution putting them under kind of some kind of pressure, as, uh, as obviously we kind of faced in that first first half of the first half I suppose you can say we was under a lot of kosh uh, as Henry Kessler's got the ball here and the highlight does end but it does seem that we're going to be hopefully finishing this half as the better of the two teams but definitely more even now um, I'd say they had definitely the the lion's share of possession and attacking threat in that kind of first 20-25 minutes but then obviously the revolution came back into it uh, so you just got that Carlos Hill goal and obviously a uh, Poitain's goal which is uh, still not 100% sure what happened there Um I am very mindful that we've got two yellow cards. I know they've got two yellow cards as well, but the one that's concerning me the most is this one here, if I'm being perfectly honest, um, because they are working the ball down that right-hand side quite a lot, and if obviously he gets caught out. I'm going to leave him on just for a little bit longer, but it's um, it probably is going to be my first substitution of the, the match, which is normally not one you do that often, you left back, but it's one that I feel like needs to be done. Hopefully I don't regret this now, though, as they do actually start the game by working the ball down this right-hand side, as Russell's got it now once more. Lovely tackle there by Boiteng, and it has gone out for throwing here. Let's hope we can just... Oh, that's a bit weird. So the... oh, I suppose it was the first highlight of the half. I was going to say that made no sense to me whatsoever. Maffer on the ball. Oh, God. You already look a banshee. Gustavo both to captain some uh, little intricate passes here but a, a massive boot forward from Henry Kessler doesn't find anyone and Carlos kind of thought about running for it and then uh, decided against it Sporting Kansas look to start to build up some play here as they just knock the ball around nicely here waiting for an opportunity they found one just going forward there on the left hand side this time Andrew Farrell getting drifted inside but they've switched it straight over to their more favoured right hand side oh no they've switched it all the way back again Game, game of switching here as the ball goes now into the middle back outside to the right hand side this time as Russell has now found some space do not concede do not do not <sighs> Turner got a safe pair of hands there I was more just worried about the the whole getting into the yellow card thing I mean I am going to have to do it I'm getting very very nervous and I don't know why I mean he's, he's not giving me any reason to be nervous but just the fact that that's the, the line that they go down more than, than anything is the reason for it. I'm going to actually pause it while I'm, while I'm actually doing it. I'm actually going to go into the tactical screen if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bring on uh, De La Garza and um, I mean, Boateng's looking a bit a bit worse for wear as well. I mean, I have got, yeah, I'll, I'll stick on, I'm going to stick Big Cannon out there. He can do a job out there for me, I know he can. We'll leave it as that for the time being. We've still got that one extra sub as well, just in case. Starting with the, I don't like it when we do that. To be fair, um, I have got, I have given the opportunity for the goalkeeper to take his kicks as he wants to, so that's fair enough. Uh, if I don't want to take, he can do what he wants. But hang on, a lovely maze run here. It just keeps going. No one putting the tackle in yet. He has gone all the way back though to Casella. Not the best pass from Brotting, but lovely space now on this left hand side. 
Laffler now, who is about to come off. Can he actually do something here before he actually gets taken off the pitch? Back to Boateng, ball into the box, has been dealt because Sado there now picks it up. Goes right, hopefully. No, goes back left, Captain Bo. Butska, Bo, lovely intricate passing here from the Revolution. Butska, what a last ditch attack. Attack tackle there from Kansas defender. That was uh, that was some really intricate passing between the, the three players there, and it ended up with Adam Brutzka nearly through one on one with the goalkeeper. But a lovely, as I say, last ditched tackle there from the uh, Kansas defender, and pretty much stopped the Revolution. Not guaranteeing a goal there, but uh, definitely a huge opportunity it would have been for them. Last kind of ten minutes now, of the game does seem to be kind of petering out a little bit. Just going to bring on this last substitution now, just to just to shore up the um, substitute off, and we're going to bring on. We'll give just two minutes ago. And then what we'll do is we'll just swap. Uh, we'll swap Renix and Butska around. Confirm changes. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. What, what is going on? Um, come on then. Last kind of few minutes here now. Revolution. Uh, uh, Carlos Hill plays the ball through. Justin Renix just on the pitch. Justin Renix just on the pitch. And with his first goal of the season, 22 year old Justin Renix, a, uh, a, a national, national, that's not the right. Obviously, he was a local hero, I suppose some might say. He's uh, born and bred in the state of Massachusetts, I believe. And look at that. Just a really weight, really uh, well-weighted pass from uh, Carlos there into Justin. And see if he had a keeper, keeper. Probably could have done more of him, being honest there. Uh, but uh, I would definitely take it as we now seem to be able to finish this match 3-1. Definitely heading in the right direction. It's weird that this formation is the one that seems to have clicked the most. But uh, it is what it is. You've got to play towards them sometimes when you're playing football manager. It's not kind of what you want to play sometimes, but if it's working and it's, it makes sense, then that's what you go with. Especially when you've got limited transfer funds and limited availability to do anything with your team. Um, but there we go, I think that's it, is it? No? Got to be it now, surely. There we go. Full time, New England Revolution 3, Sporting Kansas 1. A really pleasing victory, especially when you look at the, um, the overall stats here. I mean, it kind of swings in their favour. Uh, but we've definitely been the more clinical of the day. Just in minutes coming on for the last kind of ten minutes and grabbing himself a goal as well. Carlos Hill picking up surely man of the match there. If, uh, I mean he's got an eight. It's a pretty solid performance from him. He was the maestro that he needed to be when he needed to be. Uh, pretty happy about that. All things considering, shift great result. Can't uh, believe how good we were. More of the same, please. Definitely, definitely Carlos Hill. Definitely the star of the show. Tottenham want to negotiate. Um, I mean, you can, keep, you can keep negotiating, but I mean, I've got no more room for any more wages, so. Soz. Um, I can keep negotiating as well until someone turns it down. Uh, Carlos impresses for New England. Uh, Gil put in the man of the match performance for New England Revolution. Uh, the right midfielder bagged uh, the best of the goals to get him around the performance. Yeah, it was. It was really, really good. 1.3 million. As well, what a bargain! I mean, you can look at him all you want to, fair mate. You can look at him all day long, but I don't, I don't understand what you're trying to do here. Minnesota next as well. Six days. Uh, MLS Crocker. Oh, that's our game. Oh, this is the highlighted game with the uh, the pick as well. Three one. That's a good result. That is really good result. Good performance as well. Obviously, it's only the kind of um, starting bit that kind of had me a little bit uneasy. Uh, I mean, we can. Oh, should we just move some of this again? Does that do anything for you? No, it's still only 70. I mean, why can't I have a player?
it's uh, Okay, it happened again. Like well, literally within seconds, the controller and microphone cut out again. So, um, Nicholas Bentner, uh, no good, is it? No good for that. See which one from there. Can I maintain that? Wolfie Brony might be one though. Four star, four star. But again, don't think he's going to offer me anything actually different from what I've already got. Really, if I'm being honest. Second best on the comparison charts. It's not like Bose actually my first. I think Bo's literally my best player in most positions. See, there's part of me that's thinking I should start playing him at there, but then what do you do with Adam? What what do you do with Adam then? I can't I can't play two two players full stop. I mean, what is that Adam? Adam's best position is striker, right? Yeah, he's a striker target man. He can play out on the left. How do you not play him up top there? When you've got another striker of just a better b ability, maybe it's it is hard to. Hmm. Can't remember negotiate. I mean, I literally can't negotiate anything anymore. I mean, I don't know what else I can do other than keep offering you the same thing. Um, and then no negotiate. It's non-negotiable. I'm just gonna put it as non-negotiable this time around. We're just going to draw a line with it because it's obviously not happening, is it? And if they accept, then great. If not, then not really much else I can do. He's obviously not coming to the revolution, is he? I think that's what we're going to deal with here, really. It's hard to get players in. I mean, where's Cincinnati getting all this money from? I mean, they've acquired one of our players already in Foster. Matt Foster now plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. But I mean, for me, I just don't know where they're getting all this money from. I mean, obviously, I've, I've, I have shifted a lot of money up, um, around. Oh no! Oh my word! That's definitely far from ideal. Yeah, I kind of need to. Um, can I move some of this money back? Because I've moved. Can I actually, can I actually, actually, first of all, can I actually afford anyone? Is there anyone for me to actually be able to afford? That's what, that's the main thing. There's no point in me looking at all these players and then just Sergio Santos. I mean, I'm not just signed him on FIFA actually. Uh, he's only a silver card as well. Again, I don't. This isn't what I'm. I'm really worried about. Having been honest. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button again. I keep doing this. Star player for most MLS stars would be a good sign in. Let me do look. It does look good to be fair. I can't definitely afford that low G. Extremely doubtful. I'm going to add it as a transfer target on shorts. Acknowledge. There we go. Wolves again, you're, you're, in, you're in the same position as me now. I just need to lock this down. Non negotiable. You either take this offer or you. You know, that, that's it now. Literally sticking it down, trying to put it on this today. Uh, okay. American clubs will be able to sign domestic players after their conditions. Okay, so let's. I don't see what's going First month of December. So I kind of need to get something done really now, don't I? So, did we have anyone who's a defender? Mm, I don't really want to sign MLS based players and I'm being. Perfectly honest, not gonna lie. 
not going to lie. Kit Sons. Uh, who they got? What's their most valued player? Here we are. Who are you looking at as the the guy with the most points? Alex Marsh. He's only 22 years of age as well. Mm, yeah, it's, it's fair. He, is, he isn't bad at all, is he? 23 years. Um, it's not what I'm looking for. Though. Let's stop. Let's stop getting. Stop getting bloody um, sidetracked. Player search. Uh, so let's just clear it all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to transfers. Uh, let's change the view actually. Just for general information. Value. So these players, pl players, players are interested in. I mean, he's interested in coming, but 4.6 million. I mean, they're not. They're just not going to be able to afford it. Um, definitely not going to be able to afford his wages either. Well, I'll in, I kind of just want to look at defenders in general, really, if I'm being honest. So long James Collins, and obviously I shouldn't be looking at the other James Collins as a defender either, really. Um, again, he doesn't look terrible, but again, is that much more than what we've got ahead of what we've got here currently? I just need like a really, really good. Solid, especially now Keta's out for a while. I know I've brought Francis in, but it still doesn't kind of it doesn't sit right with me. Still, I mean, what? So he wants to come to the New England Revolution. I just don't see it myself. Um, Grant Hall, twenty-nine years of age now. Didn't look bad. Lickland's supposed to be pretty decent, isn't he? 20 years of age as well. Hmm. Again, it's like, uh, I, I literally really can't afford any of these players, though. Like, at all, really, when you think about it. I, I can't afford any of these players. Trent Sainsbury's. Oh, let's scout him, just because of his name. Yeah, so I, I, I just can't see, and I really can't see what these um, players are going to be offering me, me more than kind of what I've already got. If I'm being honest, that that's my main concern. I suppose I'd say is that like what what are they offering me more than kind of what I currently have. kind of seen out from here if I'm being perfectly honest. Dabo. Ah, Dabo on a save. What team was I? Hmm, I can't remember what team it was. I don't, I don't, it wasn't that Dabo, it was a different Dabo. <laughs> <sighs> goal of the week, Carlos wins goal of the week, and rightfully so. What a banger. Well, that, that's that's not unexpected, is it? Nah, I didn't think it would go through. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Carl Bartley. Oh. I seem to already be getting in a player on loan. That's weird. I did not think that that was happening, but it has happened. Um. Oh, okay, so we, we are. We have got a player coming in. When, di when did it do that? <laughs> I went, oh, I think I, I thought it collapsed, though. I thought the whole deal collapsed. Oh, I've only got him for two months. I mean, that's kind of fair enough, though, because obviously that kind of covers the, the, the Kessler the Kessler issue. Oh, well, it kind of seems like I almost knew what I was doing there for a second as well. That's, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. Deadline day has passed as well, so that means I can't actually sign any players until the 13th of December now. Then it's storage. Yeah, well that's... Uh, I, can't, I can't really do much more than that. Man, look at them wages. 
No chance, buddy boy. 12 million potentially. Couldn't afford the wages. Um, but that's about it. T between 5 and 12 million. Between 5 and 12 million. Mm, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me, but he, he ain't coming either. Oh, okay, we get. I gotta to get to the game against Minnesota, guys, and then I gotta call it the end of the stream. Just a nice little quick early morning stream here, just because uh, I had some spare time. So I thought, you know what? I'll just uh, go on Twitch, see if anyone's about, out and about, see if anyone's interested in uh, watching me ramble for an hour or so. Doesn't quite seem to be the case, but. Uh, I, mean, I suppose it's hard to compete when you've got a lot of people like Fox in the Box and Dupe, you know, people who um, regularly stream and have got a really good community and fan base. When you've just got some guy who's uh, just thought, oh, you know what, I'll stream today. Probably not going to stream again for a while, but I'll stream today, and then we'll kind of see how it goes. But I mean, I've been uh, been doing it for a while now. I think my next stream would be, um, what day is it going to be on? So let me just think here. Uh, actually no, it probably won't be worn out, it's East Holidays isn't it, so I don't really get any chance uh, to stream over the East Holidays if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, but then we have got then, yeah, so after the East Holidays I think I'm, I'm probably going to have a few days where I've got a bit more of an opportunity to stream, but oh my god, I've got another player out injured here. That's three defenders. Uh, not, not ideal. Not ideal at all. But I can't believe that I managed to kind of put a, a deal in for somebody in place that I uh, didn't even think about, to be fair. Wasn't even thinking. See, so the thing that's making me wonder is that I'm still not on the Football Manager 2021 pages in that I'm streaming it, so... But I'm pretty certain it does say that I am streaming. Oh no, yeah, there I am. I am there, so I was... So I was, I lied. Maybe so I don't have a face cam, but I'll never have a face cam. Oh, well, I wasn't really that bothered in him, too fair. This guy I was looking could potentially. I mean, he's not actually that much. I could probably afford both of those, if I'm being honest. If I'm actually being honest here, which I've said a number of times now. Hmm. So he's, he'll be my top left back. Uh, my second best centre back. I think that might be worth... Just making an inquiry on that, seeing so that's not a bad sign at all. At all. He's, what, how old is he? 27 as well. Not bad. Oh my god, what is going on? L literally, why is everyone getting injured just before this Minnesota game? So I'm not going to go. Not going to go into this game, guys. So I am calling it a, an end to the stream here. Um, so thank you to anyone who just watched this back. But. Uh, Yeah, that's um, slightly annoying that I'm getting so many. Mm, could have probably thought that, definitely could have thought that wage. Nah, already got someone pretty decent potentially on the way. Um, what was I looking at him for again? Just, I think I was just looking at him in general. 26 years of age. Oh man. On par with Carlos. I don't need another Carlos though, really. Minnesota. Um, oh, what, Daniel? You've got to be kidding me. You don't want to come to the New England Revolution? That is absolutely shocking, mate. I am disgraced. Uh, so they want 750k. Oh, no, nah, I can't afford this. Is a well, I can, but this is a million pounds. I don't really want to pay this. I don't. Can't we just go like five hundred? Suggest. Oh, I was not. I literally just nearly halved their offer, and they've gone for that. I'd happily pay that for him. 
I think that's kind of what he's worth. That's weird. Very interested. Well, here we go, then, boys. Let's get into this. Um, yeah, regular starter contract start date from the end. Step transfer. Fair enough. Oh yeah, crap. Can't oh, but that's fine because Bartley will be gone then. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. Negotiate the contract. Um, Several for second key interest in quality of clients, including Sheffield ones that represent a very interesting option. Oh God, I'm to cut. I would have, I would have liked to have gone a lot lower if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, but with that in mind, I don't want to go too low either because if I go too low, then. Okay, so he's currently on 10k. Don't want to offer him that. I mean, I'll go 7.5. Don't want any of this crap. Well, I can't give any of that crap because. Oops. Shit. Um, I mean, it's not, not available here, unfortunately. Is this is this looking good? Nope. Okay, that wasn't. He wants an improvement on everything else. Uh, okay, so the agent, uh, the one feed gone completely gone though, which is good. I definitely wanted to try and get this number down a little bit if you wouldn't mind, please. Uh, one five and then one maybe. I'll give you that. Boom! That's not bad at all. I don't think that's bad at all. Dabo. Looking pretty decent, to be fair. 80 overall. How old's Dabo? He's 25. Would be. Third best. So Simon Francis actually looks like he's one of our better options at right back. They're just decided to go on trial. So that's why he won't sign for me, but he'll come on, he'll come on trial with me. And then what I'll do for storage is I'll just um, move to the England 2 club. So I think that's where you, you're, you're eligible to play, right? I think you should be able to play for this club here. Is that correct? Are they able to play? Have you even got, have you even got a, any fixtures? Fixtures, fixtures, fixtures. No, it's, it's a ranger friendly for you then. Tomorrow home, choose an. Uh, a very small. Uh, it's up to him. Okay, well, yeah, it is up to him too fair. He's not, he doesn't want to come to the club, so. Quick fitness test. Delegars has passed to Buchanan and Colin. Oh, that's fair. That's, that's all right. At least we've got some ability. All right, well, there we have it. I'm going to end the stream there, guys. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look. And no, I don't want to click on that one. Uh, did we get? Yeah, so Carl actually is in, so that's good. So what I might do is Carl there. And then I might actually move Andrew back into the middle and have... Francis out on the where is he let's put this back into this order I think I might swap them two round just play with that Farrell and um, Carl Bartley, Mafla, Gil, Casado, Boateng I think I'm actually going to start oh no it's Hmm. Oh, ok no we'll leave, leave him we're probably going to leave it as that to be fair that's probably going to be what we're rocking with but anyway guys um hope you've enjoyed this one if you have then uh obviously hopefully you'll be able to join me again soon as i said i don't know how when i'm going to be able to stream next because of the easter holidays and stuff so it might be a while before I actually um actually stream next but uh 
yeah, it's been enjoyable as always. Um, only got about an hour in today of stream, but uh, it's unfortunately the only time that I've got available. So, um, yeah, guys, anyway, stay safe and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you guys soon.